Kremlin critic Arkady Bubchenko, who was reported to have been shot dead on Wednesday, has strolled into a news conference where he declared I'm still alive. Vasily Gritsak, head of the Ukrainian security service, told the media gathered in Kiev that the agency faked Mr. Bubchenko's death to stop a Russian plan to kill him. Moscow said it was happy that Mr. Bubchenko was alive after all. Kiev had said the 41 year old Russian journalist, a strong critic of President Vladimir Putin, was shot multiple times in the back at his apartment building while on his way to buy bread. They had claimed he was found bleeding by his wife and had died in the ambulance on the way to hospital. But, remarkably, Mr. Bubchenko showed up at the news conference. To applause and gasps of surprise, the journalist apologized for what people had been through and thanked everyone who had been mourning his death. I would like to apologize for what you have all had to go through, Mr. Bubchenko, who looked on the verge of tears at times, told reporters. I'm sorry, but there was no other way of doing it. In particular he said sorry to his wife, who detectives had earlier said they were unable to speak to because she was suffering from shock. Separately, I want to apologize to my wife for the hell that she has been through. He said. He thanked the Ukrainian security service for saving his life and said the operation had been planned for two months. Mr. Gritsak says investigators have identified a Ukrainian citizen who allegedly was paid $40,000 £30, by the Russian security service to organize and carry out the killing. That citizen was also apparently asked to buy weapons and ammunition. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has promised to provide protection to Mr. Bubchenko and his family going forward. The leader added, that Ukrainian authorities are becoming stronger in countering what he termed Russian aggression. Ukraine had released an image of a man wanted in connection with the killing. A statement from the Ukrainian embassy in London said the perpetrator of a crime had been arrested and that Ukraine will bring organizers to justice. It has been reported that a Ukrainian citizen has been arrested. Mr. Gritsak said his service had received information about a Russian plan to assassinate Mr. Bubchenko and had managed to prevent it. Mr. Bubchenko, one of Russia's best known war reporters, spoke and wrote last year about leaving the country because of repeated threats that he and his family would be harmed. There has been backlash from some in the journalism trade over Ukraine's actions. The chief of reporters without borders has condemned the Bubchenko operation, saying it is pathetic and regrettable that the Ukrainian police have played with the truth, whatever their motive. For the stunt. Channel 4 News's international editor Lindsay Hilson wrote on Twitter that the action will impact journalists' safety. So now every time a journalist is murdered, those responsible will unleash their bots and propagandists to say it's fake news. Thanks, Ukrainian security services. That's really helpful to all who care about journalists' safety. Number Bubchenko, she said. Russia said Ukraine's alleged use of Mr. Bubchenko served its propaganda purposes. The Kremlin had earlier said that Ukraine had become a very dangerous place for journalists and criticized Kiev for failing to protect them. Another well-known reporter, Pavel Sheremet, was killed in a car bombing in central Kiev in July 2016. The case remains unsolved, but he was also a critic of Russia, Ukraine and his native Belarus. Before the true fate of Mr. Bubchenko had been revealed, UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson tweeted that he was appalled to see another vocal Russian journalist murdered.